If you're obsessed with media culture, or you live in New York, or you're a diehard fan of gossip, then you probably know Gawker. And if you don't know Gawker, you probably know the impact of Gawker, because there's so many sites now, not to mention Twitter, that kind of specialize and marinate in the uh, snarky, sometimes mean-spirited, finger-in-the-eye approach to politics, culture, and just about everything. But Gawker's having trouble in the marketplace, and it got into a lot of trouble about four months ago when it ran this story about the CFO of Condé Nast, the guy basically no one's ever heard of except he has a relative in the Obama administration, allegedly uh, paying, or offering to pay, I should say, a gay porn star for sex, and the, the story blew up, Gawker took it down, Gawker apologized, Gawker said it was going to be nicer, 20% nicer at least. Well, now it's undergoing at least a 90% change because Gawker is, says it's getting rid of most of the gossip and it's going to cover politics. So welcome to the campaign 2016. What can we look for? According to a memo from the editor-in-chief, uh, Gawker says it's not a Republican site, not a Democratic site, but it has an absolute point of view. That point of view is every single one of the Republican opponents of Hillary Clinton would be apocalyptically disastrous presidents. Everyone. So now we know the Gawker point of view. Gawker also says it's been kind of tough on Hillary Clinton, not a fan of the former first lady. As for these Republican candidates, look at this. Uh, Donald Trump. Here's what Gawker in this memo has to say about Donald Trump. It's utterly unacceptable that Donald Trump is a front runner for the Republican presidential nomination. And there's no prominent national publication even attempting to embody the puckish spirit of the old spy magazine, which went after Trump all the time. So it's pretty clear what Gawker wants to do. By the way, it says it's not going to worry about access to politicians and it's just going to slam people who need to be slammed uh, with a definite point of view. Um, and by the way, it's also doing some trash talking in the same uh, memo from Alex Perrine uh, against some of its online rivals, the liberal site Vox. It's utterly humorous. And the problem with BuzzFeed is that so much of it is utterly stupid. All right, that's called laying down a marker. So do we need Gawker Politics? What is it going to bring to the table? It has the danger, I think, of just being another liberal website, but probably a lot funnier than most of the websites we might read. Uh, but I suppose there could be an, an opening here uh, if Gawker does some reporting and brings its patented brand of... Um, in your face approach to politics. Because let's face it, a lot of media organizations take themselves way too seriously. Gawker could partially be an antidote for that. So this is a move I think made out of necessity because what Gawker used to do, used to specialize in, just about everybody does that. So now Gawker is gonna go all in on campaign politics. It's closing some of its other websites, some layoffs, hiring a few new reporters. And something tells me, you know, either it will succeed, it will be sort of the Daily Show, a left-leaning uh, mockery site specializing in uh, campaign 2016, or not so much, we'll have to see.